but I'm 29. It is my birthday today. We are going to be talking about my 28 favorite products of when I was 28 years old. Welcome or welcome back. I actually cheated. You guys, I have like 30 in front of me because I couldn't pick. I have everything from hair care, skin care, makeup, and I have everything from luxury, drugstore, super affordable, and everywhere in between. I have a lot of favorites to discuss and I'm so excited to get ready with you guys. We're gonna talk about some of my reflections and some of my biggest lessons of my 20s period because this is the year that I'm like closing out the chapter of my 20s. So I'm going to be talking about goals. I'm going to be talking about plans. I have so much to let you guys in on. I'm going to go ahead and spritz my face with my Yonka Paris lotion. This is for the dry skin girlies out there, which not me. I actually have oily skin, but I like this one because it is winter time, guys. My skin is going through it and I need all the extra love TLC that my skin can get. But this I love. So if you guys follow me on my Instagram stories, you guys know I'm obsessed with it. I do have a coupon code. I'm going to try and go through these products pretty quick you guys because there's so many you guys this was hard i don't want to say like this was my all-time favorite primer svf but i use this so much and i'm just so obsessed with it so this is the lip tinted hue guard this is an spf i really really love this product because it brightens your face it is an spf and it is such a good moisturizer and right now i feel like my skin she do be a little dull it's like all in one and she's a cutie for my under eyes i'm gonna use my osea ocean eyes i love this stuff guys because of the roller and how easy it is to like dispense it it's so relaxing calming and it just like gets right on in there i also want to give an honorable mention to my yonka paris eye cream literally my favorite eye cream ever literally the bomb.com honorable mention to my sweet chef ginger vitamin c oil free moisturizer i love this stuff guys i love this stuff i didn't use this stuff today because I really feel like my skin needed the deep hydration from Lip Tinted, but this guy in the summer when it's hot, when you're sweaty and you have oily skin, that one. For my primer, I have to go with my Refi Glow and Sculpt Face Primer. This is so good. It's a rolling primer. You squeeze lightly and it literally rolls the primer on for you, which is so genius because it always ensures you have a thin layer of primer all over your face, which is so perfect more isn't always more especially when it comes to primer that's actually going to make your makeup break up quicker you want to work with thin layers and this little body makes it so easy plus this has niacinamide in it which is so good for your skin and it really does give you like a nice glowy base for setting slash priming spray because you guys know i love to prime with my setting sprays she's an oldie but she's such a goodie you guys the urban again all nighter this just works literally my favorite setting spray like i know a lot of people claim to one who be long wearing this one actually is long wearing this one is not just the flex while i let the primers really set into my skin i want to give an honorable mention to my jlo beauty that jlo glow <laughs> serum i love this serum so much to be honest with you guys i already applied it today because i already kind of did my skincare today so she's in there i also wanted to give a mention to my skin by kim kardashian exfoliator every time i get asked like hey what is exfoliator do you recommend i always say this one one because it actually works and i know a lot of you guys are gonna be rolling your eyes at me and being like no i don't like to support her i don't like kim kardashian she's nice <laughs> this is one of those situations where you can hate the player but don't hate the game it's my favorite exfoliator it's both a chemical exfoliator and a physical exfoliator which i personally love because as much as i am told stop using physical exfoliators they're bad for your face i don't feel like chemical exfoliators do enough i need the feeling of the texture to feel like it really is retexturizing the surface of my skin and I feel like this one is so perfect because the actual texture is very very minimal but it is there like it's there I still feel like it's resurfacing you know the texture of my skin and I do feel like the chemical exfoliant is actually active and working here as well so I just really like it and I just want to give her an honorable mention and you know what I'm a fan big fan for foundation i tried so many foundations this year i want to give an honorable mention to the beautiful skin foundation by miss charlotte tilbury i really did like this one she was good she was great the makeup by mario foundation is so good i cannot stop raving about this because it's literally so life-changing the westman atelier foundation i i don't think i stopped talking or stopped using this foundation for like a month straight like i was so obsessed with this foundation this was like my die hard favorite foundation but the foundation that i'm going to be using the foundation that hands down took the cake for me is the Patrick Ta cream foundation when I tell you I'm so obsessed with this product it is both
both a very minimal yet perfect medium coverage foundation that wears so long, doesn't seep into fine lines, gives you a very natural glow, but keeps you mattified. I don't know how the girly did it. I just, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't. By the way, guys, I use the shade light medium one at the moment, and I feel like it's pretty perfect for me. And the thing is, I feel like this foundation would be perfect for anybody. Like it's just a foundation, like it's just a foundation that works. I just did my brows and I will say my favorite eyebrow product of 28 was my e.l.f. brow pencil. You guys, this is so good. This is the Instant Lift Brow Pencil. I love this brow pencil so much. This is the one that I would use at home. So this is the one I would use on a very, very regular basis, not just when I film because when I'm at home and not filming, you guys, I very rarely wear like a full beat. But if I am running errands, I like to do a light makeup. And for me, my light makeup is always a filling in my brows, brow gel and concealer. And this is a brow pencil I would use and I absolutely love it. And it's elf. Oh, it's so affordable. Moving on to cream bronzer. I loved this little guy so, so much. This is from Milk in the shade Baked. This is their little bronzer stick. Obsessed with this guy. Also an honorable mention to my Charlotte Tilbury cream bronzer. This is the Beautiful Skin Sun Kissed Glow Bronzer. And I got mine in the shade Medium, which might be a little bit too dark for me. This is too medium. If I had to pick in between these guys, I would have to go with the milk one just because it's easier to apply because it's like a little stick guy and it's very creamy, very easy to blend out, very flattering. And it has this great shade that contours you while also bronzes you, which I love. Let's talk some plans and some goals. I'm so excited that I can finally share with you guys. I feel like this is something that I'm, I'm prepared for, even though I'm kind of nervous about about it, I'm going to be a part of a retreat hosted by Brandy Leapso. If you guys don't know who she is, she is the CEO of Evio Beauty, which you guys know I have a very beautiful, tight relationship with Evio Beauty, not just their products, but you guys like the actual team and the people. And the CEO is something so special and she is such a wonderful person and she is finally hosting a woman's retreat that is for any and every woman who is feeling like they are on the edge on the cusp of something great, but for some reason, they just can't get there. Like they might be going through mental blocks, money blocks, self-confidence issues, imposter syndrome, whatever it may be. She planned out this retreat to target those concerns and to help women finally reach like their fullest potential without any apologies. And I'm so excited to be a part of this because this is something that is so close to me because it's something that I created my channel for. Like I didn't think it was gonna turn into a place where I talked about like self-love and, and, and loving yourself and really focusing on your growth and on becoming the best version of yourself. Like I, at that point, just wanted to play with makeup. But after going through what I went through with my divorce and everything and living through that, I just, I know the power that even going to like a seminar is. This is a whole retreat dedicated to this. And I'm just so excited to be able to be a part of it. I'm so honored, guys. If you guys want more information on the retreat, please feel free to message me on Instagram. Just DM me the word retreat and I will get back to you and I will email you a link to the actual retreat page. You guys can book your spot and check out more information and read up more on what's to come. It's going to be a beautiful retreat in Mexico. It's going to be for four days, and I believe three nights, something like that. I forget. I'm just really excited. There's just gonna be so many great activities planned and it's gonna be a beautiful experience. And I just know that I'm gonna get so much out of this retreat. I feel like after experiencing something like this, you come out so tight with people and you develop a relationship that is like none other because you share something so big and so life-changing and I'm so ready for that. And I'm so excited to share it. Again, I'm gonna have more information linked down below and I'm gonna have information available to you when you DM me on my Instagram. So make sure if you're not following me on Instagram, make sure to follow me and make sure to message me so I can see your messages. And yo, it's gonna be so exciting. By the way, I'm going in with the Makeup by Mario Ethereal palette, you guys. I love this palette so much. Again, it's a later discovery. Like I'm obsessed with it. I wanted to use my Lunar Beauty Eclipse palette because if there was a palette that I used to death, like I beat that palette to death, it was definitely Lunar Beauty, the Lunar Eclipse palette, 100% hands down. I have a coupon code, again, I'll pop that up here. But lately I've only been using this. It just has the most perfect colors and the most perfect formula and it's just so flattering. And I didn't wanna bore you guys with again a palette that I've talked about so much. So I'm gonna use this one. Just know that Miss Lunar Beauty, she's definitely there as well. For eyeliner, my favorite eyeliner hands down has been the 24 hour intense liner from Essence. This liner is so good and it's from Essence. It's like 
four bucks. You can find it at Ulta. You can find it on the Essence website. It is so good. It is so easy to use and it is intensely black. It is matte and it is just perfection. Go get it. Buy five. Just keep it handy. It's so good. I'm gonna go in with concealer and I didn't really have like the most standout year when it comes to concealers, which is kind of sad because I love concealers. I will say though, the Catrice True Skin, this concealer is so good. And I love the shade Neutral Ivory because it's very brightening and I love the coverage. I love the formulation. She is a very easy to use, a very lightweight, and she wears a very long time. This one is one I constantly, consistently gravitated to. Speaking of EVO Beauty, I have another little collab in the works with EVO Beauty. I'm so excited about it, you guys, because one, it's EVO Beauty and I love them. We know that. Two, because you guys, it's not makeup. For me, like, don't get me wrong, I love makeup. I'm a glam girl. Well, it's not makeup. It's still like beauty related, I would say. It's self-care related. And I'm just excited about it, you guys. I really, really, really am. The fact that they reached out to me again, like I'm floored, I'm honored. Like I just can't thank them enough. And I just love them so much. And I can't I can't wait to tell you guys what this project is. It's gonna be out within the next few months. And obviously I'm gonna announce it and we're gonna talk all about it on socials and lives and all the things. But I'm so, so, so excited. I feel like a a lot of growth happened for me in my 20s and a lot of like that mindset came to me in my 20s and I have to say that's one thing that I'm very grateful for about my 20s and looking back on them is the growth that I had and the knowledge that I've acquired and just the fact that I feel like I've already lived a whole lifetime and it, it just the span of my 20s of those 10 years learned so much grown so much and I've really grown into a mindset that I'm very proud of and it didn't just happen you guys it happened with the work of a lot of seminars a lot of investing in myself a lot of books a lot of tears a lot of late nights a lot of pointless drives a lot of heartbreak so many things I'm gonna go ahead and bake I'm gonna use my Alarm Mercier powder because this is definitely my favorite powder probably ever like I just love this powder so much but like I was saying if I could give you guys any piece of advice to survive your 20s if you are currently in your 20s is this is your grind time this is your your years of hustle and these are your years where I beg of you to really get to know you and the way you do that is by spending time with yourself and getting out of your comfort zone and what I mean by that is start hanging out with new people start taking up new hobbies try things that definitely scare you and do things that you wouldn't normally do one of the biggest things that I did in my 20s that I'm so grateful for is saying yes to working in construction with my brother back when I was flat broke and I couldn't get another job and the business that I was working for went out of business abruptly. I'm so glad I said yes and I took it on and not once did I ever complain. I wouldn't change that for the world. I look back on it and I'm so proud that I can say like I, I worked a full year doing construction and not once did I complain and I'm so grateful that I did that, but I was manifesting this. I was manifesting being a full-time content creator. I was manifesting, you know, getting paid to create and working with brands and working with not just any brands, guys, huge brands. I got to work with Laurence Rose this year. I got to work with JLo Beauty. Had the pleasure of working with Stripe Vectin, Osea. Like, I don't know what has been my favorite, you know, campaign that I've done, but when I tell you, like, I'm so grateful for any and every opportunity I've gotten and just the fact that I'm doing now what I would sit in my car and eat tuna salad and think about back when I was working in construction. I don't wanna get emotional, we're not gonna cry. I also joined a comedy club and I was a comedy student for almost three years, you guys, and I performed live. I did improv live. I was a part of so many teams. I was a part of so many shows. Obviously not every performance went great, but again, it just taught me so much about myself, about life. I look back on those days and even though I was broke and barely had time to do anything, even then, like I was so happy. And speaking of the Sacramento Comedy Spot, you guys, we are working out dates for a meet and greet. We wanna do like a weekend thing into where Brandon and I are gonna be a part of a show Saturday night at the Sacramento Comedy Spot. And then the following Sunday, we would do the meet and greet. We're still setting up the logistics. We're still thinking of ways that we can like viably make this happen. But just know that it's happening. It's in the works, it's in the talks. And I am so excited. I, I cannot wait. As for highlight, however, 
Again, this was kind of a later release, but Miss Selena Gomez with Rare Beauty cleared the room. Mesmerized is by far my favorite just because it has like a pinkier undertone. And for me guys, I just find those like to be a little bit more flattering because I apply a lot of blush. I bathe in blush, I love blush. 2022 was a great year for blush. And I'm so happy that blush is finally getting its flowers. So much so that I'm gonna apply more. And I do this a lot after I apply highlighter, guys. I don't like my highlight to disrupt my blush. Like, I feel like they need to be in merriment. So this is just what I do. Mascara. I still haven't found a mascara that I can say, this is my favorite mascara. Like, I'm going through the gigs, guys. I'm still mourning my KKW mascara. But I will say out of the year, my favorite mascara that I repurchased, I bought this, I think, twice, is my, Monsieur Big Lanco mascara. <laughs> I swear, she watches Emily in Paris once and thinks she's about it. But anyways, yeah, Lanco mascara. It's a really good mascara, but it's just not my KKW, but it's like the closest I have found. And yes, she's expensive, but I do think she's worth it. She's a great mascara. For lip liner, you guys, I only really had two that I could say like, yo, I gravitated towards these and I still to this day, like just switch them out. It has to be Dominique Cosmetics Nudie, which I do have a code for Dominique Cosmetics you guys and nudie is a lip liner you need to like perfect your collection and evio beauty's foul lip liner i had to you guys this lip liner is everything and the fact that she's still out of stock but she's gonna come back she's gonna come back this year and i'm so excited for the way she's coming back she's gonna get a whole new outfit they are the creamiest most hydrating lip liners you'll ever experience that's not just me flexing that is an actual fact and for actual lipstick i know that perfection like had my heart in the beginning of the year like there was wasn't one TikTok, one Instagram, one YouTube video that didn't feature Lunar Beauty's perfection. I know, I was, you guys, I was there. But then I created my Evio Beauty lipsticks and I got to create basically like my favorite nude, my perfect nude. I got to create Nancy, which by the way, this is named after my sister. And if you guys are interested in still getting this bundle, you guys are pretty sure we still have a couple available. I created these two lipsticks with Evio Beauty and it was one of the highlight of my age of 28. And that's why we're gonna apply Nancy. Stunning makes your teeth look so white. Like I would have pretty white teeth but I mean, it's such a pretty color. Like I'm just so obsessed with it. I'm gonna use a gloss just cause I really have re-fallen in love with Buxom's White Russian. She's a staple, she's a baddie. And she doesn't really disrupt your lip color. She's definitely adding to it. And you guys know I'm just a sucker for glossy lips. We're also not done with the eye because white and nude eyeliner was like my staple for the year. And for me, the biggest hit was Tarte's Fake Awake Eyeliner Golden. Like this is the eyeliner and all of my IG pictures where you guys see a very nude waterline, it's this. It is 100% this because I'm so obsessed with it and you guys are gonna see right now when I pop it on, all the difference that it makes. It is 100% a subtle something, but it's a something. And I think that concludes our look. Like we're done. Let me mention just some other favorites real quick because I told you guys I had to go through them. So another favorite that I had this year was the Charlotte Tilbury Beauty Light Wand. This is a high blush in peach gasm. You guys, I have been using this so, 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 so much whenever I wanna do a cream highlight instead of a powder. If it's not the Rare Beauty one, it's this. It's so, so good. I had to mention this lipstick by Dominique Cosmetics because it's literally like life-changing. This is in the shade sweet nectar if i'm not wearing nancy you guys i'm typically wearing this because it is such a beautiful light nude and my jisu hair oil i'm obsessed with this hair oil from jisu like it's so so good i know all the girlies on tiktok are using jisu and that's like for good reason you guys jisu's bomb she gives your hair such a beautiful like nice glow without weighing down your hair and without making your hair feel greasy which even though i have like really dry hair I still can imagine the feel of like greasy hair because I have oily skin. I know what greasy skin feels like. So even when I buy oils for my hair, I like dry oils or lightweight oils. And this oil is just everything. I wanted to mention my La Roche-Posay wash because I love, love La Roche-Posay and working with them was definitely one of the highlights of my year. But this video is not sponsored by La Roche-Posay. I just really, really love them. This is such a good cleanser for sensitive skin. If you have really sensitive skin, I have so many friends that have like very sensitive skin and they swear by La Roche-Posay because it gently removes like any impurities, any gunk without stripping your skin. And it just leaves your skin feeling nourished even though this is the face wash. Like I just love this guy so very much. And 
to remove my makeup. If you guys follow me on my Instagram stories, you guys it shouldn't come as a surprise at all. But the Versed Day Dissolve Cleansing Balm. This has eucalyptus oil. It smells so good. Like that's probably one of my favorite things about it is how it smells. For those of you guys who are like, I hate cleansing balms. I feel like they leave my skin waxy. This is what you should look for because this balm doesn't stay waxy and it doesn't stay or feel like a balm. This balm literally dissolves into an oil. Like I'll show you guys right now. I don't know if you guys can see like how oily my fingers look. It literally dissolves into an oil and the oil it dissolves into melts everything. It takes everything off even eyelash glue it's so emollient and like nothing survives this it is such a good cleansing balm i have repurchased this i would say like three times this 100 this get this you can find first at target and I believe that is everything i am so excited for turning 29 you know i want to thank the universe i want to thank god for letting me get here i'm 29 years old i'm gonna proudly say i'm pretty successful for my age and i'm gonna also proudly say that i I am very happy with the way I use my 20s even though I'm technically still in my 20s. I'm so happy that I grinded. I'm so happy that I worked hard. I'm so happy that I sacrificed money. I'm happy that I sacrificed time. I'm happy that I sacrificed friendships that weren't worth it. I'm happy that I sacrificed relationships that weren't worth it. And I'm so happy that I decided to enter my selfish era in my 20s because I think your 20s are also meant to be your selfish era. I'm so grateful for what's to come. And I'm so excited that I get to spend this journey with you guys. And with saying that, one thing that I love to do on my birthday, and you can ask anybody like that's close to me, I love to give on my birthday. That's my favorite thing. So even though I can't like personally send you guys a piece of my cake, which I'm gonna go downstairs and bake right now, I am going to be giving away two gift cards, one to Ulta and one to Sephora, so you can treat yourself to a lot of the products that you saw here today. Two winners are gonna be selected and you guys are gonna be privately messaged by either myself or my assistant. And I want you guys to use that gift card to treat yourself because it is crazy, which you deserve. All you have to do to be entered into my giveaway is like this video, share Share this video and comment down below what you guys want to see from me in 2023 and in my age of 29 like what are some videos you guys want me to film what are some things you guys want me to take you guys like along in since we are vlogging a lot more and since we are really kind of switching and navigating into more lifestyle -y content we're still keeping the beauty let me mention that beauty isn't going away permanently it's just going to be a lot less but what kind of content do you guys want to see do you guys want to see more short form do you guys want to see a specific video comment down a specific video idea comment down series you guys want to see like just comment anything down and let me know what you guys are really interested in seeing and what will keep you guys around because i want my community to be with me all of 2023 into like forever so just like this video share this video and comment down below that i love you guys so much thank you guys so much for watching thank you guys so much for making 28 so ridiculously amazing but just know that 29 is going to be the best one yet and i'm so excited because we are going to share it all together and i cannot wait bye guys